disrupt the system, jam the transmission. Welcome to another episode of Culture Jamming on LinkedIn. I'm your host, Jeffrey Cologne. Hey, so I have a great interview lined up with a colleague of mine at Microsoft. Her name is Araya Astro. And I wanted to ask her a bunch of questions on communications in technical fields, specifically communication skills in technical fields, uh, as well as a number of uh, questions on what software you can use for video editing. So check out the interview with Araya Astro. I think you'll enjoy it. I think video is fantastic because it just offers a degree of color and you know personification of something like a product or you know a human touch that you can't get in other mediums. Um, I'm not saying it'll replace like you know other mediums necessarily but i think it's something that really adds a lot of value um and given that editing is a lot easier uh, you have like more software available um it's you know easier to learn than before i think it's really important i think it's like you know the new editing of say uh, a research paper so <laughs> I feel like old school because I used to use Final Cut Pro 7 um, and I got really good at that. Um, and now and now I don't use it. Um, Adobe Premiere because I think it's the industry standard for the kind of conventional user. Um, Final Cut 10, which I'm using now, um, I feel like it's like Final Cut Pro 7 plus like iMovie and I'm not like the hugest fan of it yet. Uh, but it's easy to use and, um, it's a seamless experience. Um, I'd probably recommend like Adobe Premiere. Um, but I also love <laughs> on my phone. I do this more and more. I cut videos with iMovie on my iPhone and like, I love it. Like I love doing that. And then I have a variety of like apps, um, that provide kind of like features that I can add into the video, like the iMovie video. And so I'm like editing, I edited, I cut a video like on the bus here um, from Seattle to Bellevue in like 35 minutes and I love it. Um, Cause I think like there's a lot, I used to think, you know, okay, you have to upload and ingest and, you know, put it all on the timeline. And I think that's important in many cases, like to get like, you know, uh, a video that you can project on a big screen, right? Um, but you can also make videos for social media, like from the palm of your hand. Um, really well and there's a lot of uh, applications for um, animation and for kind of even like um, there's uh, what do you call it like plugins um, that I can get on my iPhone for graphics like 3D graphics and like add those um, but for like desktop computing I'd say Adobe Premiere. Wise words from Araya Astro colleague of mine here at Microsoft who works on Bing ads. So it is almost the end of the summer and this is episode eight. And if you want to check out the archive of episodes, you can uh, look at the link that I'll include in the comments of the uh, YouTube channel where I have all eight episodes collected. So you can binge watch those if you want to. Also, some good books you should check out this fall if you're looking for some good reads. Impossible to Ignore. This is a great book from my friend Carmen Simon, who I had the uh, privilege of speaking with at un the Unconference uh, in Los Angeles this past year. Creating memorable content to influence decisions. Lots of questions on content marketing. Not a lot of questions on actually how people will pay attention to it. So definitely check out that book. If you're a fan of Richard Florida, you should look at the opposite of what Florida has talked about in terms of the creative class. And I found that in a book called Culture Crash, The Killing of the Creative Class by Scott Timberg. Uh, this is a couple years old from 2015, probably more relevant uh, now than when it came out. So definitely take a look at that book. Also an oldie, but a goodie. Can't forget uh, Lawrence Lessig 
free culture. If we're going to talk about culture, you got to understand a little bit more about uh, how big media uses technology and the law to lock down culture and control creativity. Very interesting book reading this one if you go back and uh, try to apply it to uh, today in terms of where we are. Also, some other really good books that uh, intersect with culture and consumerism. Culture Jam, really good book actually. Callie Lassen, founder of Adbusters. Uh, what I found really interesting in here uh, is a number of uh, uh, methods in terms of what media activists use and how that is actually spreading more and more uh, with advertisers. There's a whole section in here on meme culture that I think was uh, written about long before uh, I saw anything on social media about meme culture. So check it out. Culture Jam, Kelly Lassen. And finally, if you're wondering about the filter bubbles and why you get all these episodes and don't see other things in your news feed, Filter Bubble, or I should say the Filter Bubble, how the new personalized web is changing what we read and how we think. Eli Parazer, uh, definitely a great book. A lot of people, I think, picked this up after the most recent election. You should read it as well. Highly fascinating in terms of what we see and what we interact with, all based on engagement. For another episode of Culture Jamming, I'm your host, Jeffrey Cologne, and I'll catch you next time. Disrupt the system, jam the transmission.